Hey everybody, we're down here in southern Arizona staying in Tombstone right now and we're going to be doing some exploring all week. Boot Hill Graveyard was established in 1878. Boot Hill or Boot Hill was a common name for burial grounds of gunfighters or those who died with their boots on, usually violently. An estimated 300 former residents are buried here. In 1884, another cemetery was created on the other side of town. Many families had their loved ones disinterred and buried at the new cemetery. I think that the relatives didn't want their loved ones associated with the criminals that were buried at Boot Hill. Meanwhile, Boot Hill, it fell into disrepair. Livestock had trampled a lot of the graves and there were weeds growing up all over the place. So volunteers stepped in to fix it. They went in and they looked up all the records and tried to match up the names with the grave sites. But, you know, unfortunately after time, they weren't able to. So there's still a lot of unmarked graves out here. Some of the notable names you might recognize, like those from the famous shootout at OK Corral. After only 30 seconds of gunfire, it left four men dead. This is the gravesite of Three Finger Jack Dunlop. He was the last criminal to be buried here in Boot Hill. He was shot and killed during a daytime train robbery in the nearby town of Fairbank. From 1874 to 1888, many outlaws were buried in the graveyard. So it shouldn't be any surprise that a lot of people believe it to be haunted. Boot Hill is most well known for the graves of the men who were involved in the gunfight at O.K. Corral, one of whom is Billy Clanton, who reportedly rises from his grave each night and wanders through Tombstone. Another ghost is that of the Godfather. She's also referred to as the Lady in Red. Yep, the Godfather is a she. Locals believe that the lady in red that haunts Tombstone could be China Mary. She was a businesswoman who ran the general store in Tombstone. She also controlled the opium dens in Tombstone. An interesting thing about ghosts seen in this graveyard is many of them appear in the daytime. I read that the sweatshirt rack in the gift shop turns all by itself. cemetery here is not as big as some of the other historic cemeteries that we've been to but you know I think that's what I liked about it it's uh smaller and it's more quaint you know I really appreciate all the work that's gone into keeping this cemetery up so that uh, people like me can come and visit it if we don't take care of these things they'll just go away so I really appreciate the people that do this kind of work we're going to be headed back to camp. Thank you so much for joining us today. Catch up with you guys down the road. Bye.